Hi everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Move with Jade. Today I am at Heartland Village in Fleet, Hampshire. We haven't done a tour in these areas before, so extremely excited. I'm not just showing you an apartment today, I'm going to be showing you a house. But guys, take in the views right now. This is the entrance to the village, you guys, and it's a brand new development village in the middle of so much land, acres of land. We're actually not far from Fleet Town Centre, which has all of the shops, bars, restaurants, lifestyle amenities that we all need on your doorstep. So you are away, but you're also very close. You're roughly a nine minute drive away from Fleet and Farnborough Main train stations to get into London Waterloo. So perfect for those commuters out there. We're also about 11 minutes drive away from Farnborough North station, which actually takes you into Reading, Guildford, and Gatwick Airport. So if you're a traveler, you're not far from the airport as well. So great, great location, you guys. And it's beautiful. You all know that I am currently on the hunt for my own house. So it could be here, who knows? We are now in the two bedroom apartment at Cedar Lodge, which is so beautiful. I love it because we're basically in a Jordan feel building but inside it's brand new so it gives that old mixture with the new which is right up my street it's been designed by house and the design is stunning it has open living and kitchen area just over here there is a storage cupboard as soon as you come in and it's double doored because i know you guys are going to ask about the storage cupboards there you have it right can we start the tour now this is the first bedroom that I have to show you guys. The bedroom is so bright, the views are lovely of all the houses, the architecture is stunning and the space in here is great. I love this headboard you guys, I love the cushions, the detailing, I love these lamps, they're like little mushroom lamps, everything is done so beautifully. Now this bedroom does come with one of these gorgeous built-in wardrobes. Again, you have the frosted glass look with the panelled detail, bringing that old with the new, and the wardrobe is a really nice size, sliding door, and you still have lovely space to walk around, not to mention another little area for a dressing table to get ready, you know, chill out. It could actually be a desk if you wanted to work in this room. The bedroom is stunning, but you also do have a lovely ensuite. Again, that hotel fresh new fill. You have a bath and shower together. You have a heated towel rail just over here. Easy access to the towel. You also have your gorgeous vanity, you know, area with lots of storage as well, which is always good. Stunning is this room. This room feels like a cozy haven. Can you imagine if you had a guest and they were given this room to stay in? They would fall in love and never want to leave. This headboard, wow. I haven't seen anything like this up close and personal and I have to tell you, I think I want this in my new house. It's so beautiful. The bed is plumped up. Beautifully, House have done an amazing job by designing this place, it's stunning. Now there isn't a built-in wardrobe in this one, however there's loads of space all across here for your wardrobe, your dressing table, your chest of drawers, and they're good sizes you guys. So these homes have a lot of windows, so a lot of natural light is coming in, as well as having gorgeous lighting features like this. <music> family shower room. So very similar to the ensuite that I just showed you in terms of the spec. You have the same tiling, the same colours, the same flooring. This is beautiful. I love how they've done open plan in this apartment. It feels very spacious. It feels so bright, of course, because there's lovely light coming in from a balcony that I will be showing you. But wow, this kitchen is so fresh. So this apartment has been fitted out with Bosch appliances. So you've got your microwave built in, your oven built in, and then everything else is built in. You also have some lighting underneath the cabinets, which is great for cooking. I love it. And I love how simple yet effective this worktop is. 
So now we are in the living room, which I have to say is very comfortable. I love the lighting. I love how peaceful it is. And I like that they've gone with an L shaped sofa because it completely separates it from the kitchen and dining space back there. Whilst all being very neutral and not having to do too much, the interiors are beautiful. Now it is very nice and bright in here because there is a balcony off of this apartment and they have lovely views as well. <laughs> Okay, so now the exciting part we're going into the four bed aspen show home which is a three-story house two drive spaces at the front so much going on i'm not going to talk about it now let's just go inside so i can show you we're now inside of the hallway of the house and it's beautiful it's a beautiful entryway just over to my right there is a downstairs toilet which is amazing but guys there is a storage cupboard over here so you can actually imagine how long the hallway actually is it's just lovely there's also spotlights you guys and the flooring is beautiful let's just walk through into the heart of the home this is your living space kitchen and dining space all in one but this is a layout that i don't see often there is another storage cupboard over here which i think is amazing because you don't often have a storage cupboard within your living space it's usually just in the hallways look how gorgeous the interiors of this place is i'm falling in love with it you guys it's honestly the kind of layout that i would love to live in and it's so peaceful it's beautiful right let's go back here to the kitchen so the kitchen is beautiful, as you can obviously see. Everything is integrated and everything is soft clothes, which is really, really nice, especially for a family home. The appliances are Siemens, which is a great brand, and everything just looks stunning. There is ample amount of storage. Look, there's more cupboards up here where you can have all of your spices and condiments all around the kitchen. But what I really, really love is the fact that there is a sink in front of the window at the front of the house. But I do really like this. It's different. It's different to what I usually see. Your Siemens oven and microwave all built in, which looks so flush. And of course, your huge fridge and freezer all integrated. I absolutely love the flow of this area, you guys. I've just shown you the kitchen and swiftly through is the loveliest dining table, which seats six. If you were lucky, you could actually fit eight if you had a lot of people dining here, but it just goes to show the size of this living space. <laughs> Now we're in the living space, which is super cozy, very functional, very bright, very just comfortable. And of course we have these huge doors to my left, which is where the garden is, which I love. Wow, wow. This garden is so beautiful, so tranquil. It's, the sun is shining. This is a great indicator to know what it will be like on those hot summer days. It will look like this. I love what they've done. I love the size of it. And I think this would be a great space for children to come and play out here, but also to just chill out and have a glass of wine as well. Read a book, host friends, dine. I would definitely have a dining table out here and utilize this space. And this takes you to the front of the house where you park your car. And wow, I think this might be the main bedroom in my opinion. So first of all, the interiors are beautiful. The bed is inviting. It's a very large room and you'll see that there's more to the bedroom other than just the bed area. There are actually two beautiful windows just on the side here to the left, which is facing the back of the house. Over here, I would say this is your whole dressing area. So there's a lot of space to work with and you can of course add a mirror here there are some mirrored cupboards. So you have chest of drawers here. I need to slide this open because it's really beautiful. I love, love the tinted glass on this and the paneling. It's very traditional, but it still has that modern element. And this does come with the house. This is your ensuite bathroom and it's beautiful. Now, of course you have got your heated towel out over there because it's needed, right? You have got your toilet, your basin area with some under, storage and some Jo Malone. We do love that. But what I love is the mirror. And look, 
Chanel perfumes, Tom Ford perfumes, YSL. Okay, so now let's move on to the next room on this floor. Remember there are three stories and we're currently on the second story. So there is another storage cupboard on this floor and it does house the boiler, but there is ample amount of space for you to add in your shelving units. I'm thinking linen closet, towels, that kind of thing would be great for up here, especially because it is right next to the main bedroom. Now down the hall, you guys, we're entering into more of a cozy, separate living space, which could be a formal one, but I think because it's upstairs, it could be more of a chilled out one, but it has a great surprise. <laughs> Now we're going to head upstairs again to the third story to see some more bedrooms and ensuites. And now we're in bedroom number two, which to be honest can actually be your main bedroom because it's a good size again, lovely interiors, and not only that, but this one does also have a dressing area. And I think this dressing is actually a bit bigger than the one downstairs, so you can see but it's a really good size for all of your clothing. And you even have a nice little seating area. You have two windows again, so lovely light from the back of the house again. And you have your ensuite shower room. Very similar to the big one I showed you downstairs. All right, let's go and see the other bedrooms. There are two more to see. I love how big the hallway is. It feels very open, very wide, and just over here is the family bathroom, which is a lovely size. The interiors are lovely, it's nice and bright, and it does feel like I'm in a hotel again, I have to say it, you guys. Again, the specification is very similar to downstairs. Another storage cupboard. This is bedroom number three. You can see there's a double bed in here. You also have room for, you know, a desk area, which is very well done. There's a lot of space over here. So this could potentially be a child's room where they can, of course, work. It could be someone that wants a dressing area in their room as well. It's not inbuilt, but you can create it with the space that is available. How cute is this room, you guys? This is the perfect child's room. I feel like this is taking me back to my childhood. This is perfect nursery, you know, you can have a cot in here as well as a bed. This is the smallest room in the house, but it is still spacious, you guys. And look at this cozy rug, I love it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing an amazing tour of what Heartland Village has to offer. I think St. Edward have done amazing with this development. It feels like you're in the middle of nowhere, but you're not. You're not secluded because there is the town centre, loads of train stations and options to travel up and down the UK amazing so much to offer look at the lake look at the bridge look at the house and there's even woods within the development there will be a primary school coming there will be shops and everything you need right in the heart of heartland village so if you did like this tour you guys give it a like give it a comment and subscribe and if you do come to view it let them know jade van rail sent to you i think it's definitely one to come and see for yourself i'll see you all in the next tour bye